meditation. Today we're going to focus again on sounds and uh, I'm joined here by uh, Mr. Guitar and Mr. Buddha. You'll see we've changed the locations to the front yard and just listen to all those sounds. Just like children sleeping, we could dream the night away. Neil Young, Harvest Moon. So yeah, we're going to focus uh, on sound today. Here's my coffee. Here's a little meditation tip for you. If you're a coffee guy or girl like me, I have a nice hot cup of coffee in my hand just for the first couple of minutes just to kind of get myself into it. Because sometimes when you start meditating, you just are having a hard time getting into it. So I kind of do my little coffee ritual. I smell the coffee. I feel the coffee. So maybe that's a little tip for you. Today, we're going to spend about 15 minutes and we're going to focus on sounds. So listen to all those sounds around us. You can hear all the different birdies. I can hear my furnace running. You probably can't, but I can hear the, the exhaust from my furnace. I can hear the wind. I can hear a car coming up my driveway to check the horses. So there's so many sounds. And I want to remind you again that when we meditate, we focus on our breath. We focus on our breath. We're using our left lateral prefrontal cortex, the somatosensory center. And then we listen to sounds. We're, listening to the audit we're using our auditory cortex. And when we do that, when we actually use those parts of our nervous system, we can't worry at the same time. So, sitting in the erect, dignified position. Oh, yes. Remember, once again, I'm in the luxurious 1850s commode chair, which fits my butt so beautifully. We sit in an erect and dignified position. I'm in my gym jams for you because I just got up. Most meditators meditate first thing in the morning. And now, when you hear me breathe loudly, it's for guidance purposes. So we're going to take three deep cleansing breaths. And when we're ready, we close our eyes. And we start listening to sounds and focusing on our breath. And we'll maybe do that for 12, 15 minutes. See how it goes. You'll hear my voice periodically if there's a cool sound or to help keep you on track. Closing our eyes and breathe. In through the nose and out. In through the nose and out. Through the nose, out through the nose.
FYI, it's cold in Canada today. Oh, listen to that little squirrel up in the trees. FYI, it's cold. I feel cold. Mindfulness means the present moment without judgment. So I'm not going, oh my God, it's so cold, this is horrible. I'm just going, huh, cold. And when I feel the cold, it's another sensation that takes me away from worrying. I think that's a squirrel telling off another squirrel because I have a bird feeder behind me. No, don't you come into my neighborhood. That's what he's saying. A lot of bird sounds. Another really cool sound to focus in on, if you can, it's okay if you can't, is the beating of your own heart. You probably can feel it when you settle down and breathe. But if you listen really close, you may be able to hear it.
I really can hear the wind today. And it makes different sounds, you know. It does gusts. It does constant bits. And it does sort of crescendo, decrescendo. Full disclosure, I just put my hands in my pockets because it's cold. There's, there's no meditation rules that say you can't do that. And remember, if you're focusing on something when you meditate and then your mind wanders, Everybody does that. Everybody does that. The metaphor is falling off your bike. You just fell off your bike. You just get back on and ride again. The best meditators in the world, their mind wanders. And they say, oh, my mind has wandered. I shall go back to breathing. And that's what they do. And that's all you have to do. When my mind wanders, sometimes I'll do those cleansing breaths like I'm just showing you. What we're doing through repetition is creating new neural pathways. The wider the path is to our somatosensory cortex, the more shriveled up the pathway to our worry center can become, which is a cool idea. And they've proven that with MRIs.
Sometimes I'll throw in a little bit of gratitude thinking while I'm meditating. While that's not like official meditation practice, I don't care. I think it, we know gratitude's good for us. So sometimes if my mind wanders, I'll go, boy, I'm pretty lucky to be sitting here in this fancy chair listening to all these nice little birdies. Yeah, life is good. I can breathe. So let's, uh, let's take 10 or 15 nice big deep breaths as we wind this down today. And as you do that, give yourself a little pat in the back. You rocked it. You showed up. You showed up. And I love that. You showed up for yourself. When you're, when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Look at that. Mr. Coffee was just waiting for me. Grateful am I. So yeah. Listening to sounds is a good thing that we can do to take our minds away from stress and anxiety. Um, thank you so much for joining me again with this guided meditation. I really appreciate that you came. A um, little bit of Neil again to, to take us home. I know where the music's playing Let's go out and meet the night Cause I'm still in love with you I want to see you dance again I'm still in love with you On this harvest moon Good thing I don't sing for a living, huh? <laughs>